three brothers in merry Scotland. In merry Scotland there were three. And they did cast lots which of them should go, should go, should go. And turn robber all on the salt sea. The lot it fell first upon Henry Martin, the youngest of all the three. That he should turn robber all on the salt sea, the salt sea, the salt sea. For to maintain his two brothers and he. He had not been sailing but a long winter's night and part of a short winter's day. Before he espied a stout lofty ship, lofty ship, lofty ship. Come a bibbin down on him straightway. Hello, hello, cried Henry Martin. What makes you sail so nigh? I'm a rich merchant ship bound for fair London town, London, London town, town, London town. town. Will you please for to let me pass by? Oh no, oh no, cried Henry Martin, that thing it never could be. For I have turned robber all on the salt sea, the salt sea, the salt sea, for to maintain my two brothers and me. Lower your topsail and bow down your mizzen and bring your ship under my lee. Or I will give to you a full cannonball, 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 and your dear bodies drown in the salt sea. Oh no, we won't lower our lofty topsail nor bow ourselves under your lee. And you shan't take from us our rich merchant goods, merchant goods, merchant goods. And you won't drown us all in the salt sea. With broadside and broadside, and at it they went for fully two hours or three. Till Henry Martin gave to her the death shot, the death shot, the, the death, death shot, shot, and straight to the bottom went she. Bad news, bad news to old England came, bad news to fair London town. There's been a rich vessel and she's cast away, cast, cast away, away, cast, cast away. away. And all